Italy will ease travel from the non-EU countries from the beginning of March. With the travel update, all travelers can enter Italy with just proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. In this video, we talk about the upcoming changes on travel to Italy and the current COVID restriction within Italy. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Italy is set to ease COVID travel rules for non-EU arrivals on the 1st of March 2022. Italy will no longer require non-EU travelers to show both proof of vaccination or recovery from COVID and a negative test result. Starting from March 1st, for arrivals from all non-European countries, the same rules already established for European countries will be in force, wrote Italian Health Minister Roberto Speranza on his Facebook page. The change means arrivals from non-EU countries from March will no longer need to show both proofs of vaccination or recent recovery, plus a negative test result, as is currently the case. Italy has already simplified its travel rules for anyone arriving in the country from within the EU and Schengen zone. Arrivals from the EU or Schengen zone just need to show either proof of vaccination, recovery, or a negative COVID-19 test. The test can either be a negative lateral flow test taken within 24 hours before arrival or a PCR test taken within 48 hours. Tests must be from a certified provider and home test kits are not allowed. At present, passengers from the UK need to show their vaccination certificate and provide a negative COVID-19 test to enter Italy. Only tests from a certified provider will be accepted. The NHS COVID-19 travel pass can be used as a green pass in Italy, as long as the QR code is readable. However, if you haven't had your booster, your second dose must have been received no more than six months ago, that's 180 days. Alternatively, you can show a certificate of recovery from COVID-19, issued in the last six months, along with proof of two doses. Italian residents and visitors must carry a super green pass to access most indoor places. This new type of green pass was launched on the 10th of January, and it shows proof of vaccination or recovery from the virus within the last six months. It is required in cinemas, theaters and stadiums, restaurants, as well as to be allowed into hotels, ski lifts, museums, archaeological sites, gyms, and swimming pools, along with a range of other activities ranging from wedding receptions to festivals and theme parks. It is also required on all forms of public transport, including planes, trains, ships, buses, trams, and subways. There has been widespread speculation in Italian media that the Green Pass system could be scrapped entirely from the 31st of March, when the country's state of emergency is due to end. However, the government has yet to announce a definite date. Italy's rules can change at short notice, 
thus it is recommended to check the Italian Health Ministry's travel information page before your trip. The link is on our blog post. Do you have plans to travel to Italy? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.